Howdy folks, welcome back to Berry Village. You know, we got the uh, the cows over here last episode, and I was just over here getting ready to get the uh, the water trailer to take over. Uh, our water trailer is busted, so until we get that fixed, uh, we're using the Joskin here. Patch 1.3, uh, I think the only fallout from that so far that I've noticed is uh, my truck behaves a little strangely, and our water tanker mod that we have won't fill from the fill point. Uh, other than that, we've been doing pretty well with the new patch. But anyway, I came over here to get the water tanker and semi pulled up and delivered my new toy. So I sent the little orange beast off and got this. It is fully restored and it's got a new turbo motor in it. 105 horsepower. That's right. We're busting 100 horsepower limit. Uh, it's just a lot better setup all around. And it's got a custom front loader here with some lights on it and a new bucket that's sized about right. And it's just a gorgeous little tractor. Just can't believe how great of a little mod this is that Mark found. So this is Little Orange Beast 2.0. It's uh, it is basically the same tractor. It's just a, a lot better model and look at the detail. I just can't get enough of this mod. One of the best farm sim mods I think I've ever seen just as far as detail and the love that went into this is incredible. Look, it's even got welds. It's, it's just crazy. So we're going to go uh, do some cow chorn with this my new tractor up in here we got uh got steering wheel and armrests and everything's fully restored it's just uh basically like a brand new tractor and it's got that new little turbo in it turbo diesel fires right up plenty of extra power so let's get everything hooked up There we go. I don't know if we'll need this. We're basically going to just be pulling the trailer around, but we'll throw it on there anyway. So I've got a full tank of fuel. This should be good for a while. Let me get this uh, door closed here. There we go. So uh, we need to take the water tanker over there and then we need to get some straw. I need to check. I don't, we don't have, um, have any hay. I need to check. I'm not sure our grass is ready to mow yet. So I might have to go borrow some hay or something from Sergey just to get us by until our grass gets grown in. But we'll start with water and straw. Get those squared away. So I'm interested to see how this does pulling that planter on the hills. This new engine in it. A little more horsepower. I'm not sure if it's as heavy as the other mod was. We'll see. Sorry for the whiplash there. Just trying not to fall off the cliff. <laughs> Get this water tanker. So we'll fill this up with the spout on the way by. But yeah, this thing is just, it's just like brand spanking new tractor. All the gauges work with fuel gauge and tack and everything. Everything works on it. The mirrors are awesome. It's got a good dirt map, wear map. It just, it's just perfect. Somebody put a lot of love and time into this. If I remember, I'll put a link uh, well, in the description, this is one of the few mods that we didn't actually have to do anything to. Now, I did tweak it, of course. Because <laughs> in the default mod, the turbo version is rated at 105 horsepower, but it's only 75 actual horsepower. Just like the other non-turbo version. Uh, so I have tweaked this so it actually puts out like 104 uh, horsepower. It's close enough for me. I can't tell if that's filling or not. Yep. No, 
Oh, that's not what I want. Doesn't have that, apparently. Alright, let's turn the HUD on. Get the tanker selected. It is full, alright, so it did fill up. I didn't hear it. It was quiet. See how she does on the hill pole here. It's quite a struggle. This is a steep hill with 7,500 liters worth of water. She's turbo spooled up and we're just chugging right along. Not fast, but we'll get there. There we go. Right up the hill. The little coffee spot there. Oh, yeah, this is my new favorite tractor. Mark and I are both just happy as can be with. He's got his Franken tractor. And I've got this thing now. I wish, like, the doors and windows and stuff would work, but I don't, I don't think there's, like, a in cab script yet for Farm Sim. Alright, they're full on water, so I might as well take this back over to the pigs. I need to pick up a wagon for straw anyway. Raise that up so we can miss the wall. It's a little tight here. I'm trying to maximize our field usage. There we go. We'll just, whoa. A little rough over here. I need to get the, uh, the blade out. Make it a little smoother around here. So we'll go back by the spout, we'll top off the water tanker, put it back over by the pigs, and we can just kind of do that, run back and forth. That way it'll always be full of water. And then I'll pick up a little wagon. I'm going to see if the, the straight wagon's back over here. That'd be the easiest to back into the barn. It's a little big, but I think we can handle it. Just pulling straw around. Go and up the other side. Get brave and try to go up this steep hill. Ah, no problem. Look at that. 100 horsepower for the win. I'm going to sneak back in here. I'm not sure that bucket couldn't have been dropped there. Stuff drifts around a lot. So I have a feeling that was up there. But, and it drifted down here in front of the pig watering trough. What are you going to do? I'm just a little squirt of water. Drop that there. Make sure we don't drive off the cliff. Get over here to trailer row. Yeah, it looks like the big straight trailer is here. Most of our trailers are dolly trailers, and we have to back into the barn to get straw, and that's doable. I've done it, but given the choice, I'm going to take the straight trailer. There we go. Let's check. Yeah, see, we've got hose connectors. Nice. That'll hook right up there. Okay, let's go get some straw. All the pedals are animated. Yeah, I love it. Good stuff. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. <laughs> I need to go on the other side of the tree. There we go. I almost drove right off that cliff. I do that all the time. Looks like she, you should be able to just drive right down there, but that's not the case. Alright, I'm coming, cows. A little speed up.
even empty, this is a fairly beefy trailer. Can use all the help we can get. I know, cows. I'm coming. Calm down. All right, now, can we get this back in here? Maybe. Come over that way. Start straightening up. Then I actually want to back in. Can't quite see the barn in the mirror. I can sort of see the trailer back there. Fit through the door? Oh yeah. No problem. There we go. Alright, can we get some straw in here please? Thank you. Not sure how much we need, so we'll just take a full load. Then for the cows, we should just have to pull up here and Dump it. There we go. Says that is enough straw. Now we still have some in there. Uh, so I can take that over for the piggies later, but we need to get uh, We need to get some food of some type The cows and this grass I don't I'm not sure how tall this gets like this is wild grass That's the plant of the grass. It doesn't quite look like it's full-grown. I think it's got another stage So I'll probably run over to Sergey's and borrow some hay I guess we'll take this over and make sure the pigs are full up on straw. They, they probably shouldn't need much. I just topped them off, I think, yesterday. Then uh, we'll run over to Sergei's and get some hay. Looks like tomorrow that grass should be probably ready to mow and we'll be able to do our own hay. So we'll just have to see what Mark's got up his sleeve uh, for haying equipment. I know he's been perusing the sites again, and he actually found a new site, I think, in Czechoslovakia. And that's where he found this little gem. So, hoping we can find some more treasures over there. Because this is just an outstanding mod. Next level. Quite in the trigger. Not quite in the trigger. There we go. Yeah, they didn't need much. They were all good to go. So this still has straw in it. Let's just pull it up here under the tree and we'll grab another trailer. I can sort this all out later off camera. Drop that there. Let's just grab, grab Mark's little trailer. I don't think it's got anything in it. Double check. Damn it! Get up there! Whoa! Yeah, it's empty. I was using that for straw the other day. We can take that over there and grab a little bit of hay. Just a bit, just to keep the cows happy until we can get our own stuff in. Uh, we're going to have to figure out something for TMR. I think Mark's got a mixer wagon floating around somewhere, or else he's making a deal for one. But if nothing else, we'll get some hay in there, you know, just so they don't starve. 
we've only got six cows, so it's not super critical that we're cranking out the milk production. But it's nice to see the farm grow from nothing to this. It's been a lot of fun. Hope you all are enjoying it. Like all the comments. All right, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to head over to Sergey's farm, grab some hay, be right back. All right, headed back from Sergey's with a full load of hay. It's like 700 bucks for a whole load, so not too bad. Uh, I've also got the water trailer uh, back there. I'm going to bring it back over. Headed over at Sergey's, messing around with it, trying to get it fixed. So we'll bring it back to the farm. Once it's fixed, we can start using it again. So I know you can't see it, but it's back there. It's got uh, a bit of water in it, so. Kind of chugging a little bit on the hills. It's not going to where I want to set that. Uh, let's see the animals in that side. Let's just pull it in over here for now. Let it sit right here. Now, where do we feed the cows? So, that's where we buy sell. That's the water trigger. Where's their food drop? Oh, is it inside the barn? I think it might be actually inside the barn. Sure, that's the milk cell point. So that's the straw, and that's the slurry. Alright, I'm gonna have to get Mark's tractor out of there. I bet we gotta pull through the barn. Yeah, that's probably the feed trough right there. Oops, uh, this thing doesn't have the settings turned off yet. Let's get that. We updated this. We got to turn off all the settings. There we go. Pull this little guy out. Wait. There we go. And in theory, I need to open that other door down there. In theory, we can feed the cows here. It's a nice theory. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, try this way. Oh, it's going to hit the ceiling. Squish. Oh, we're okay, I think. I think we're okay. What a panic. We're going to need a really low mixer wagon <laughs> to be able to get in here. Yeah, that filled up the trough, so that's good. This other door open, then we'll have to back out of here. <laughs> oh, boy. This trailer might be a little bit broken. Come on, trailer. Come on. I know. You got your wheels pushed into the ground. It's just farm sim things. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. No. We got it. We got it. Oh, this thing is so broken. <laughs> it pushed itself into the ground. Come on. Come on. No. No. Oh, oh. I think we're free. We did it. Good job, team. All right, so that might need a little tweaking. Probably need to take the top off of there if we use this wagon again. It's a little too tall. But this is all new. I've not used this barn before, so now we know. 
We're going to need a really low little mixer wagon. This little guy put back. Mark's little toy. Yeah, beautiful. Close the doors back up, and we'll hustle over here to my tractor. And I'll go get this put away. The cow should be... Should be pretty happy. Let's take a look at the cow menu here. Uh, yeah, they don't have any of this stuff, but if they have hay, that's 75% effective. They've got everything else. So if I bump the time up for just a bit... Bump the time back down. There we go. So they're 80% productive. They're already making some manure and some slurry. But I'll keep them topped off until we get our cow operation going. They're not going to starve. And they'll be doing a little bit of something. So that is the beginning of the cows. I like it. I'm going to head back over to the farm, get some stuff cleaned up. And that will be it for this one. Thanks for hanging out, as always. And take care.